Push it. <laughs> that happened fast, man. Today I show you the cool yurt, the leaning water tower of Intan, then set off for some monkey fun all the way to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Please hit that subscribe button now and keep your hands inside the vehicle. our yurt for the evening and right outside the front door is we're actually under a giant awning and then there's a huge pool but you had to wear a burqa if you're a lady to go in it so I have some leggings and a swim shirt so I'm gonna try that <laughs> you can rent a yurt for approximately $20 per night or you can rent a regular hotel room with a private bathroom as well I chose the more unique option is a leaning tower erected in 1885 by a Chinese builder. It started to tilt four years after its construction due to an underground stream. The tower was originally used as a water tower supplying this area and a reserve during drought or fire. It had a clock at the top from London, England. The clock was installed in 1894, which would ring every 15 minutes. This tower also served as a beacon to guide ships into the Tuluk Intan port. The tower is compared with the famous leaning tower of Pisa in Italy. Tuluk Intan Tower is only 25 meters high with only 110 steps. It is nowhere near the size of the leaning tower of Pisa of 55 meters. The tower of Tuluk is three stories, circular structure of wood and brick, the tower came close to demolished in the 1940s. It is currently a local tourist attraction and no longer stores water. The tower is recognized as a national heritage. The area around the tower is paved with bricks and became a plaza, which is what we see today. This place is pretty cool. Um, I've never stayed in a yurt before and little did we know there was gonna be a thunderstorm last night. So. They are definitely not soundproof and there's kind of a tin roof awning over all the yurts so when it rains on that it actually makes the rain sound much louder so uh, we we're like are we gonna be okay and it sounded like the tin was like lifting with the wind so uh that was fun at four or five in the morning but other than that fun cool experience and we had a pool right outside our door
so there's a whole bunch of uh, fresh produce little markets along the road. So we decided to stop and get some. And we decided on mangoes, dragon fruit, some corn, because we're gonna probably get an apartment in Guadalupe, which will have a kitchen. And she has dry fruit too, so now we can snack on that in the car on the road trip. So this is actually a really good stop. Kuala Lumpur, we notice a family feeding two different kinds of monkeys. And yes, I know better than to feed the wild animals. Whoa, whoa, where are you guys going? Come here, I got something. Whoop. Come here, come here, piggy. Yeah. Sliding down the trees, man. We're all coming down. Whoa, oh, here they go. Who oh, should? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that happened fast, man. Look at this. Good boy. Can go have a snack. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Take a <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello! Who's that guy? Hey, man. What? Oh, there's another one. Hi! This is a little switcheroo.
into a usually overrun tourist attraction, but it's a ghost town. Here we are at the Kuala Lumpur famous Bat Cave and get all the way to the front gate where we are informed we are not Malaysian without a Malaysian ID. Therefore, this temple is closed to the public during the COVID pandemic. This temple is only open for strict local worship at this time. Thank you for watching another video. Next time, I take you to the beautiful city of Malacca. Please hit that subscribe button now to follow this Malaysia tour. Please visit patreon.com and find La La Libra to support my videos. I am happy to announce the 2021 La La Libra calendar is off for printing. This calendar supports my boat fund, Please visit the YouTube show notes description to find the 2021 calendar link. All my videos are supported by my patrons.